Good morning, dear students! Welcome to our online TLE class. I hope you're ready as I am to start learning and have fun. We're in this together, so let's do our best and support one another as we learn together. Before we begin, let us pray and feel the presence of the Lord. June, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, June. May I request our class secretary to please check the attendance? Excellent! Clap your hands for your perfect attendance. Before anything else, may I remind everyone of some healthy and friendly reminders for our synchronous session today. Please mute yourself unless you're recognized by your teacher. Talk nicely to everyone. Remember to frame yourself properly and nicely in front of the camera. Maintain a clean learning space free from any distractions, clatters, or trash. If you want to talk, click the raise hand button. And lastly, don't forget to smile. It sets your mood for the day. Let's have a health and wellness check. If you are feeling fine and good, click the like button on our emoji panel. And if you are inspired and excited, click the heart button. Wow, it's wonderful that you are all inspired and motivated. I'm relieved and I'm more eager and inspired to be with you all. To teach and to motivate you to do well and to live more despite these trying times. Alright, so much for that. Anyone who could give a short recap of what we discussed yesterday? Yes, Dennis. Short memory, Dennis. Yesterday, you learned the different methods of cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment for efficiency in the workplace and at home. And there we go. This morning's synchronous session is guided by our learning objectives. At the end of this meeting, you will be able to clean, sanitize, and store kitchen tools and equipment, define dishwashing, identify proper dishwashing techniques, relate the importance of dishwashing in controlling the spread of diseases, and lastly, perform dishwashing procedures. But before that, let's have a short icebreaker. Have you ever played Never Have I Ever Before? Well, that's okay. Don't worry because I will be presenting the guidelines as to how we will play the game. Here it is. There are five Never Have I Ever dishwashing related questions made by the Game Master. The Game Master will flush a random Never Have I Ever question on the screen. All students are required to join the game. If you have done the statement, you have to send a thumbs up emoji in the comment section and if not, send a smile emoji otherwise. Have fun class! Okay, let's get started. First statement. Never have I ever sung while washing the dishes. Next. Never have I ever cried over a pile of dirty dishes. Next, never have I ever infuriated my sibling by adding more soiled plates in the kitchen sink while he or she presently doing the dishes. Never have I ever volunteered in washing the dishes. And lastly, never have I ever shattered the dishes away. That ends our short icebreaker. Great job, class! Do you enjoy the activity? That's good to hear, but let me clear something. Do you really wash dishes at home? Oops, don't lie! Yes, John, do you have any concept in mind? Wonderful, John! Washing dishes is fun! But some of us might think that we don't always have a choice but to perform this task. Next time you find yourself complaining about it, acknowledge that having dirty dishes means you just have made a nourishing meal for you or your loved ones. Try to see this as a privilege. Okay, class? Great! Have you gotten a hint as to what our lesson will be for today, class? 
Yes, Erica. Marvelous! You figured out that fast! Who among you can define what dishwashing is? Yes, Melody. Tremendous! That's it! Dishwashing, washing the dishes, or doing the dishes is the process of cleaning cooking utensils, dishes, cutlery, and other items to prevent foodborne illnesses. Dishwashing is necessary to keep a kitchen clean, plates, and silverware safe to use. Can anyone volunteer on reciting the dishwashing procedures you're doing at home? Yes, Peter. You haven't missed a thing, Peter. Now, allow me to demonstrate these steps for you. Okay, let us have the first step. Anyone who can give the first step and discuss it? Yes, Brian. Bombastic, Brian! You give me an idea that you really are washing the dishes. Just a tip, we never pour grease down the drain because it can cause a clog. Do you get it, class? If you understand the first step, click the thumbs up or like reaction. Great! What about the second step? Yes, Brenda. Excellent, Brenda! Just a rule of the thumb throughout the process, drain the water, and start over if it becomes crazy or if sods disappear. Do you get it, class? If you understand the second step, click the wow reaction. Okay, amazing! Now, let's proceed to the third step. Anyone who would like to share what the third step is? Yes, Mio. Magnificent, Mio! In addition, we should be extra careful when handling kitchen knives. We don't pile them in the sink. Instead, we wash them one by one and immediately place them handle up in the drying rack. Now, if you get the third step, click the heart reaction. What about the fourth step? Yes, Matt. Wow! Very clear, Matt. We make sure to rinse inside cups, bowls, and glassware. Very well. If you understand the fourth step, click the clap button. Let's keep going now. What about the final step? Yes, Junisir. Fantastic, oh Junisir. The last step in dishwashing is drying. Remember to clean up when you are done. It will make tomorrow's task easier. Rinse and wipe down the sink, dish trainer, and dish pan. Rugs, dishcloths, and sponge should be left out to air dry or laundered in the washing machine. Remember to replace sponge and rags frequently. Now, if you understood our discussion, click the TADA reaction! Okay class, let's put the instruction into a more basic context. Just always remember the acronym PFWRD, then you'll get the hang of it. P for pre-wash or scrape of food. F for fill or get some clean or soapy water. W for wash, scrub them under the water. R for rinse, wash of all sods and residue. And B for dry, air dry or towel dry. Okay, who among you can recite again the five basic dishwashing techniques? Yes, Mary. Outstanding! If everyone got our lesson for today, kindly send a heart emoji at the comment box. Just a healthy reminder class that just like dishwashing, hand washing is an easy, effective, and affordable way to prevent disease and save lives. Most especially now that we are in the middle of a pandemic, keeping hands clean is one of the most important steps we can take to avoid getting sick and spreading germs to others. You certainly did well today, class. It's such a pleasure to teach when you work like that. What questions do you have in mind? Extraordinary! Thank you, class, for being with me today. Let us give one another a boom, boom, wow clap. Okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom, boom, wow. Before we end this meeting, I'd just like to inform everyone that our quiz for the day and the assignment was posted in our Google Classroom. Just click the link provided and message me if you have any concerns regarding it. Again, this is Shane Carla F. Estacio, your teacher. Goodbye class and don't forget to wash the dishes. Stay safe!